for the domain name. Get, do, that do you want Rassel the comic? Yeah, Rassel comic. Is. Rassel comic. I was down in the Cartoon Research Library meeting with Lucy Caswell, and I just asked her, has there ever been a show that you really wanted to do, but you simply weren't able to because you didn't have enough space? And just instantly she said, Jeff, Jeff Smith. Smith. Because Jeff and I had been fantasizing, dreaming about an exhibition for several years, and this was just such a lovely opportunity uh, for a hometown boy to be celebrated at his own university. It's a lot of fun doing this uh, Wexner show. I not really had any, any experience uh, comparable to it at all. And it, it means a lot, especially since it's, you know, at the Wexner Center at Ohio State, which is where I went to school. Man, I can't wait to see this, man. Ohio State has a daily newspaper, The Lantern, which had a circulation of like 50,000 back then. I don't know what it is now. Uh, and I approached the editors with like a little handful of, you know, daily strips. And they, they you know, I don't think they really cared. They're like free content. Uh, they paid me, I, I think like $7 a day. And I did a daily comic strip of basically a bone for f every day for four years. And that was great, great training. Not only did he get to see his work in print, he got feedback from lots of people. And this is a, a learning experience that you can't duplicate. I learned how to, how to tell a joke, how to remind people what was happening from the day before. So you had, to, you had four panels. You had to give up one of your panels to like kind of getting people back up to speed on what the story was, still tell a joke and have a reveal. And I was able to experiment a lot with some of the other cartoons and stuff. So yeah, it was a it was a good it was a good time and a good place. In 1991, um, Jeff started his own company, Cartoon Books, to publish Bone. And for the next 13 years, Jeff self-published um, Bone, and it was this kind of phenomenon of the independent publishing world. Jeff Smith is, is a rock star in the world of comics and graphic novels, and he's, uh, I think, especially well known uh, as a risk taker and innovator because he uh, set off on his own to self-publish uh, the book that he wanted to write, not the comic book that some big company wanted him to do. One of the early questions that we had in doing um, this show and starting to think about the show was how would um, an art form that's basically a narrative art form, how, how would that work in a gallery? And I think it's really a testament to Jeff's um, ability as an artist, as a visual artist, that they work um, very nicely as individual artworks. Having a show like this where you, where you take comic book pages, the original art that I drew, put it up on the wall, I mean you are exploring process and it does help people look at it differently. There's a, you know, there's a lot of, you know, respectability that comes with a, with a show like this, which is something comic book people aren't really used to. I mean, on the one hand, obviously, I really want my art firm to, you know, to be respected and to get the kind of a attention that it's starting to get in the general, you know, world now. Uh, but then, you know, there's a part of me that's still nine years old and I'm a little rebellious and I want to hide my comics and my books. I think people at our exhibition will be especially surprised at, at the sheer beauty of the pages that they're going to see. It's fun to look at. It's a pleasure because he draws so well. He is one of the most successful comic book artists around today. Um, but I think it is interesting that, you know, the kind of more formal art world um, is you know, putting his work in, in this type of a setting. You know, this is just such an opportune time. This is such a, you know, kind of a great moment in the medium's history to, to call attention to someone like Jeff and to, to present it in a place like the Wexner Center and to let people come in and, and you know, view it in a different way. It's not just um, a medium aimed at kids and it's not, you know, all superheroes. There's, there's room for, you know, great visual art and great storytelling. And I think Bone just kind of, you know, captures the best of all of that.